Hello everyone, my name is Eric and today I will be presenting on the game XCOM Enemy Unknown uh, under the topic of game balance. XCOM Enemy Unknown is a strategy game produced in the year 2012 and it is set in the year 2015. The player acts as the commander of a tactical response organization and is tasked with managing a underground military style base as well as directing units in the turn-based combat missions against the computer-controlled alien unknown enemy invaders. Balance. Factors in single player games. Balance in games can be described as the moderation of elements within the game in an effort to maintain the player's engagement over time. As we have established in this week's lectures, balance is a very multifaceted topic. Anything from damage ratios to visual contrast in the game can be balanced. Um, balance in single player games in principle describes how well the system provides a challenge that maintains the player's engagement. With regards to deterministic and non-deterministic factors in the game, uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown houses a balance of deterministic and non-deterministic factors. The game expresses a strong number of role-playing board game features. Deterministic factors include the character's movement and the resource management. Non-deterministic factors include the procedural mission opportunities as well as the role for shooting against hit chance percentages. This balance of factors is what situates the game in a fairly comfortable blend of Aegon and Aelia, appealing to a broader audience of players than some game that may lean further in either direction. Overview. Theory and topics. The analytical approach. The discussion on balance is arguably most appropriately correlated to Csikszentmihalyi's theory of flow. Continued player engagement, according to Csikszentmihalyi, uh, uh, his framework, should be supported through a progressive balancing between the difficulty of the challenge provided by the game and the assumed continually improved skills of the player. Csikszentmihalyi's theory of flow is applied in this presentation as a tool to correlate the topics of discussion and help support more accurate assumptions about the design choices made by the developers. This presentation will identify and analyze three elements within the game uh, that uh, correspond to uh, the different facets of the player's engagement. The implementation of these elements affects the ratio of the player's boredom to anxiety and the overall flow. These elements are not the only ones, or necessarily the primary ones in the game, they are simply ones that I personally find interesting. They are the randomness, this uh, is executed in the combat statistic management versus the random number generation. The strategy, player's uh, strategy versus system response, specifically in the missions. As well as visuals, player perception of the strategic view versus the world's design integration. Balancing with chance. One of XCOM, um, one of XCOM enemy unknowns, most contentious mechanics, and um, XCOM as as a franchise, um, is the shot chance calculation and roll. The system acts as a mechanical intermediary between a complete gamble and a pre-calculated outcome. This could be in an effort to include the best of both worlds, uh, the excitement of chance and the sense of achievement of calculated strategy. This affects the flow of the game, and even at a late uh, game stage with a strong character, um, a 99% chance uh, can result in a miss, and players will not completely count, uh, their count on their shots uh, before they are taken. In this example, um, a 72% hit chance on a base damage of 3 with a separate 10% chance of doing 
four damage, which is a critical hit, um, results in two damage dealt. This is 50% of the total potential damage. The pseudo random roll against the chance results in a hit or miss outcome, and the deviation in damage thereafter is likely based on the weapon not being within its effective range. This example illustrates uh, a fair fair balance in my opinion because 72% of 3 is close to 2 and 10% of 4 is negligible so 2 damage um, seems fairly fair. Um, how this chance is calculated um, is quite interesting. The game calculates the percent chance to hit based on the shooter's aim, the target's defense and range factors, that of the weapon and the character's accuracy. Um, once the player selects fire, the above function is called. Sync F rand returns a float between 1 and 0. This is essentially your percentage. Pseudo randomly, this, this amount is pseudo randomly generated off the string that is calculated at the very start of the mission. In this way, one can interpret the chance mechanic as being somewhat deterministic. The code architecture means that if a player reloads the mission and takes exactly the same shot with all of their characters in the same positions, this synchrand function will um, result with the same roll, and um, a character would uh, miss a 99% chance if they missed it before. Balancing combat strategies. Players can develop strategies during the runtime of a mission based on the fact that they can move their characters in three-dimensional space and that they can select between a choice of abilities that their characters have enabled. Other strategy in the game is included in the game's um, character loadout, customization, character development uh, menu and options, and the resource uh, management and sort of uh, weapon development and armor, you know, abilities and loadout um, uh, options that can be developed in the base uh, strategy mode of the game. The balancing of combat strategies. Balance in single player strategy revolves around providing the player with multiple options to victory that all have a similar degree of difficulty while maintaining interesting, diff uh, interesting differences in their method, i.e doing one particular thing is not more OP than doing uh, some other strategy. A few strategies that I experimented with were using all the moves in one turn to close my characters in on the targets and then in the next turn using their moves to deploy explosives simultaneously. Unlike the shooting mechanic in the game, grenades are aimed by the player and can often guarantee their damage. This means concentrated explosives are likely to take out an enemy in one turn. Moving expendable units and recruits um, into the line of fire, however cruel it may seem, uh, and, I, and using an upgraded sniper character to eliminate targets um, in, from a safer range, proved uh, relatively effective, at least in the earlier missions. Moving in smaller increments um, and enabling the Overwatch ability on multiple characters at the same time. The Overwatch ability means that uh, characters fire automatically on targets that move within their sight. This means that when enemies move in their own turn, multiple of my characters will fire on them simultaneously and I have a fairly good chance of eliminating an entire enemy character within their turn. So all of these... Um, Strategies serve one principle that applies to most combat strategy, um, and that's concentrate firepower. Three partially damaged enemies are always more dangerous than two full health enemies. As the strategies all effectively serve this purpose of concentrating fire, I believe that they are all relatively balanced. Uh, other experiments proved less effective, but trying them still let me learn about what works and what doesn't work in the system. This would be such as spreading out your um, team, your characters, and isolating them. Um, obviously, you might think you have a wider range of um, view, um, but unfortunately, units can get isolated and then eliminated easier that way. Balancing in aesthetic and function. 
The mission's environment is a balance of narrative uh, visual environment design and functional obstacles that affect the strategic choices that the player can make that provide protection to the characters from different angles. The interface is stylistic appe stylistically appealing, in my opinion, um, and it features some handy visualizations of the character's health, of their abilities, and their ammunition is um, displayed as a bar with the shape of the gun um, that they have in their loadout. In my personal experience, there were factors that were not well integrated. The minimap felt fairly pointless. I hardly looked at it. Um, perhaps as I've become a more skilled player, it might become more relevant, but it doesn't feature any distinct um, factors that help me improve my strategy. Um, the route that the character would run, so the indication of the route that the character would run um, when you select a point um, was very flickery and often you couldn't really have much choice in where you could decide for them to run. So, so often I didn't really uh, get a quick impression of actually where my character would go and sometimes they would run into the straight into the line of fire of an enemy and I would feel fairly daft. Um, and the um, vertical layer movement was very clunky. So the game predominantly works on uh, two dimensions, but there are sometimes options for player, for characters to go on top of buildings or vehicles or certain levels um, within the game. And moving between uh, these levels um, was fairly difficult from a user interaction perspective. These elements um, that were poorly balanced um, disturbed gameplay and interrupted my flow more than any of the gameplay mechanics that I engaged with um, sort of prior to this interruption. Here are my sources and thank you for listening to my presentation today.